Okay, we've only been home from the dealership for three days, but this is our Tiffin 24RT. And we did stay in it, so it's a little dirty, but come on in, we wanted to show you. So the first thing we wanna talk about is the top three reasons that we picked this coach, or the top three reasons that were on our list. Number one was the Ford Transit all-wheel drive. Second was auto levelers, and third was the twin bed to king bed system. Uh, one thing I noticed about this coach when I stepped in it is it felt very open and airy to me, even though it doesn't have a slide. And I'm 5'9", probably a little taller with my shoes on. So anyway, one of the things I loved about it was this big window. You can see out at camp, you can see a lot of stuff when you're driving and sitting back here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this shade down just cause we can film a little bit better with the shade down. Uh, we love the front seats. They were easy to turn around. It really opens up the living space. We also like this table system here. Uh, we probably will add more of this table system to this coach to make it more workable for us and to make it our own. Um, we really liked this bench system. They have done a couple of other systems, one where it had more storage shelves in here and maybe a bed that came out. But for us, that just wasn't necessary and we liked having the leg room better. So, it does have two plugs and two USBs on both sides. And those plugs and USBs are supplied by the inverter when you're not plugged into shore power. Yes, perfect. And you don't have to be plugged, you don't have to have your generator going either right. for that. Uh, up here, I really like this shelf system also. It has some um, step-down levels here that can hold all your junk, you know, when you step in and throw everything around. Uh, this can do maps and books and lots of storage here, like these. Uh, also, you could plug and charge your phone in, and then your phone can sit up here on this deck as well. Uh, also, one thing I like, too, is just the storage up here uh, in the Ford chassis itself. I mean, that's your big window uh, shade that fits right in that cubby hole, and then that's an outside uh, window cover for outside on the windshield. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, there's storage under here, and uh, we like that. It's quite a bit of storage. Uh, one thing that I really like is I like something to feel like it's big and open, so I'd rather not have tons of storage cabinets in my face. That's just not my preference. So to me, this is adequate storage. Um, if you need more, there's tons of bay storage all the way around this coach. And also the garage um, in the back with the big flip up door. You can do storage in there. Uh, also, this has a cushioned padded ceiling. Yeah, padded ceiling, which is really nice for insulation and noise. Okay, so coming over to the kitchen, um, I guess you can see the auto levelers as well, right there. We talked about that was on our wish list. The kitchen I, I really like. Uh, I've always had gas and this is an induction. And really, if you've had cookware in the last 15 years, it's probably all induction and we'll work on this stove top. Uh, I've cooked on it, I really like it. Um, the only thing is they probably could have moved this a little more forward. I'm not sure the le legality of that maybe, but um, this could come a little bit forward. Um, the plug system is here, like for your coffee pot, that has to go here. So again, if we do the other uh, table system that we're talking about, we can swing over and have more countertop space. So if I had to make a suggestion, I'd say a plug here or maybe a plug here. Uh, also, we talked about doing the table system here, and you could do a big table, and again, that could swing over to the kitchen and uh, give you more countertop space. Okay, so moving over here, I've always had a double sink. So this is my first with a single sink. And I actually really liked it. And honestly, I haven't cleaned it yet, so it is a little dirty. And so is the faucet. But anyway. How big, um, how big is the sink? The sink's probably about 16 inches this way. And I don't know what, six inches probably deep. So it's very adequate. And one thing I really like is I like the fact that they split... This has two of these inserts, but they split it 
which is awesome because that way you have more countertop space and still can use your sink. I love the faucets, very nice. It pulls out and it also does a little shower spray that you can actually lock it into the shower spray as well. So let's see, what else? The microwave. I actually love the microwave. Was it, was it important for you to have a microwave up? It was important for me. I definitely don't like microwaves down. To me, it's just kind of backbreaking and harder to use. So I really like the microwave up. And I actually use this one. It has everything on it. It has convection, broil, grill, dehydration, air fry. So I used the convection and made biscuits and they came out perfect. So I'm very impressed with that. I'd had a convection microwave years ago and didn't work like this one. So this one works very well. Um, the storage in the kitchen is plenty. I mean, you have a lot of deep drawers. It will hold a lot. Um, Here's some paper products that we just have from our trip. I haven't put our stuff in it yet. Uh, lots of storage down here. You can put all your pots and pans or whatever you need. And also, like I said, if you've got a lot of extra stuff, you can always put it in the bays outside. And one thing about this coach, we kind of noticed we started looking at the Mercedes and they don't have a very um, large cargo capacity weight. So this one actually has more. This one has 1,440 pounds. Right, so that's what we liked as well. Um, okay, moving over here. One thing that I really like too in working in a small coach like this is this pocket door was just an amazing idea because that way you can back up and have a little bit more room when you're working in your pantry area. It does have a pull-out pantry and I, did really like it. I was kind of surprised. Uh, when I was cooking, everything was kind of at my fingertips. Uh, our other coach had pull out drawers and I actually took out those drawers and put shelves in. So right now I'm gonna go with this and see how it goes. So far I like it. Uh, the other thing is I think this was a very smart idea, putting these drawers in here. They're very deep, they hold a lot, they're very accessible. With the pocket door open, you can step in the bathroom. Right, it's perfect. It's, like I said, really a good idea. Uh, up here is tons of storage. You can also put shelving in here or put whatever you want in here and make it more your own. But that will hold a lot. The refrigerator, this is the same size refrigerator that I had in our other coach and it's plenty adequate, and I cook all the time. So uh, one thing that I really liked about this one, though, that I didn't have before, is these little shelves keep things on, and then these shelf extenders, I noticed when we were traveling, were very nice. So this is a 5.2 cubic foot, I believe, uh, three-way refrigerator. So the heating element for the ammonia absorption is either 120 volts, propane, or, when your engine's running, it uses a 12 volt heating element. So right. three way. Right, so you're saving propane going down the road. It's yes. It's operating off your batteries. Okay, and the freezer, I really liked it. It kind of has a little bit of a down slope, so that holds a lot as well. Okay, is there anything else about the kitchen? No, you know, we're, we're traveling mm -hmm. without any kids or any dogs. So, yeah, we don't have kids, we don't have dogs, but we do have grandkids. And, uh, so we don't need a, a, a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. No, but and if we do camp with our grandkids, they go in a tent. They love that, so, <laughs> and that's fine with me. <laughs> okay, into the bathroom. Um, love the window in the bathroom. I had a window in the bathroom in our other coach, so love, love, love that. Uh, the bathroom, that was one of the things on my list. I wanted a shower door, and um, some of the other coaches did not offer a shower door, and definitely that was a must for me. Uh, I like the sink. I love the faucet. Um, you know, the shower is small, but it's very adequate. We've both showered in it, and it works just fine. And I'm going to step in there just so they can see. This is me, probably 5'10". Um, my husband's six feet. He fits fine. Here's the door. So it works great. Uh, did you talk about the miser you did? Yeah, the okay. water miser, how you, you turn it on to get hot water 
It mm -hmm. diverts it to the freshwater tank before you start sending it to your gray water tank. Yes. Right. So that saves room in your gray water. Yes. Um, plenty of storage up here. You can roll your towels, uh, roll your washcloths. That's plenty. And I love having a medicine cabinet. You could probably add more shelves to this if you needed more with, space. With the mirror on the front. Yes, with the mirror on the You've front. You've seen coaches without mirrors in the bathroom. Yes, we have, haven't we? So anyway, I love that. And one thing too, you know, anytime you have a medicine cabinet, it does confine your head space here. But one thing that you can do is you can just open it when you're using the sink and it gives you a lot more head space. And I do do that. It's got two nice drawers here for nice and deep. So get a lot of storage in there. Okay, anything else? You talked about the air conditioning, I guess. Yes, 13.5 thousand yeah. BTU, Bluetooth controlled. Yes, and we didn't have ducted air on our other coach either, but this one is such an improvement. Um, you can use, I've used my phone to control it. It's great. It's just wonderful. Love it. Okay, so back here is the bedroom. And this was probably our number one thing is we wanted twin beds and also convert to king bed. And one thing I love about this is just how open and airy it is. Uh, some of the other coaches, they added cabinets. And I just feel like on this small of a coach, it's just better to be open like this. For me anyway, everybody has their own preference. Um, love the little shelves, hold your phone. Two plugs on each side, two USBs on Again, each side. Again, those plugs and USBs are powered by the inverter just like this plug is for the uh, for this TV. So that means that they will work going down the road. That's right. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else? The, the, so, the width of the bed. Yeah, this bed's a little small. It's 28 inches. But 76 long. inches long. Yeah, 76 inches long, and that's what we wanted. Most of the twin bed systems are like maybe 73, if you're lucky. So 76 inches was great for us. Uh, this one is a little narrow, but what we plan on doing is, um, I mean, this was great idea on this, to put all these cushions together because they're so easy to move. But the negative of that is we would like to use one cushion right here. So we will probably detach one and sew it so that we can have one cushion here so that this bed will have a little bit more width when you're sleeping. So the narrow bed is 28 inches wide. Right. And the wider bed is 38 inches yes, wide. Yes, love this side of the bed, which is my side of the bed. Um, it's 38 inches by 76, which is the same size as a residential twin bed. So you could actually replace this mattress with a twin bed. And it, it's very comfortable, oh. but, um, yeah. yeah I'm not going to pull out the king system. No, that's the There's other pulls people it that out. have shown how everything works. So I think that's What good. about the light and the storage back there? Okay, yeah. Um, for me, you know, I'm usually wearing pants, shorts, or T-shirts. This is plenty of storage for me. Also, you have two of these really big drawers. I mean, they are deep. So this is adequate storage for me. Um, also, you have this blank wall over here. You could do a damage-free hook or any kind of hook system that you want over there to hang up clothes if you wanted. Also, you could put a clothes, clothes what do you call it? Clothes a, rod in the storage bay. Yeah, in the garage. You could do that. And you've got those nice side doors you could open to get your hanging clothes out. How about that little light work? Oh, yeah. I love these lights. So the first one is a night light. And this one is your reading light. And they move. And we found those to be really nice. Uh, the only other thing is <clears throat> we probably won't use this system either. And uh, we probably will use the other table system, put an attachment here, and then have the big table where it moves out of the way. All right, so it came with a table and a post that locks into this right here, what right. you're referring to. Right, and... Actually, I use a nice little soft bath mat over that at night just so you're not stepping on it. You know, kind of like feels like a Lego or something. You don't want to do that. Okay. Um, I don't know. Is there that's anything it. else? I think that's it. 
Well, thanks so much for looking at our Tiffin 24RT. And we're going to do more. Yeah, as soon as we get it loaded up and all our stuff in here, we'll do another video of that as well. Bye.